Hey, welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. If you are someone who is involved in query tuning or performance troubleshooting with SQL Server, this quick video might be very helpful to you. Now you know that when a query is executed inside SQL Server, it has to wait for a couple of resources. And when it waits for resources, SQL Server will assign a wait type to it. What is also known to you that there are a couple of DMVs that can help you extract a lot of weight information. Two popular DMVs are DIM OS weight stats, which gives you cumulative aggregated weight information across the entire instance. And the other one is DIM OS waiting tasks, which gives you a lot of real time information about all the threads that are waiting on some or the other resource. Now, both of these DMVs are great because they give you different kind of information and you can have all sorts of uh, scripts and capturing mechanism. But you, the SQL developer or DBA or just a SQL Server practitioner, you spend a lot of time with SQL Server Management Studio. And now when you are doing query tuning or troubleshooting query performance, you're writing query, you're, you're rewriting it, you're looking into execution plan, you're looking into a lot of performance metrics, Overall, you're spending a lot of time with Management Studio. The question is, isn't there a very easy and quick way to extract the weight information only for the query that you are troubleshooting? The one that you're writing in the query window, isn't there an easy way to just extract weight type, uh, weight um, time, and let's say weight count only for your query? Now, do not get me wrong, the DMVs are great, and another tool is extended events, which is probably even greater because you can set up extended event sessions to capture a lot of uh, weight information and then analyze it, etc., etc. They're all great and good, but I'm only talking about Management Studio and quickly extracting weight information for the query that you are troubleshooting. And this quick demo is just about that. So let's get started. Here is a stored procedure, let's say, some business process and let's go and execute this. Now, when you execute this uh, process, um, the stored procedure, let's say it runs in about four to five seconds or whatever time it takes. Yes, it took five seconds. And let's say you're happy. You're happy with the performance of this stored procedure and uh, based on some benchmark, let's say five seconds is acceptable. Now, what we are going to do is make some changes to the database. So I'm going to execute this SP. Let's make some changes, done. Now let's go back and execute the stored procedure again. Now when you execute the stored proc, some business process, it takes much more time than five seconds, which is beyond reasonable limits. And now what's going on inside SQL Server? Maybe the same logic is running, but probably it's being plugged or waiting for some or the other resource and SQL Server is assigning you know, weight types to it, and you want to only extract weight information or just want to view as to what is this stored procedure waiting on. And it's not about one weight type. It could, it could in its lifetime, it's, in its execution, it could wait on multiple weight types, and you just want to see that information. Now, you, while this is running, you may go into demo OS waiting task, filter on session ID, but you know that that's a real time DMV. And every time you run it, it just kind of gives you a snapshot of what's going on when you had executed. And wait um, stats DMV, which is the aggregated, is, is just not useful, at least for this troubleshooting scenario, because you're real time looking into stuff. That is all about instance uh, weight stats, cumulative and aggregated across all the workloads that have run across all sessions. So now this is completed. What you might have noted is that actual execution plan was turned on. And this demo is about extracting weight information from the actual execution plan. And I ran it and what time has it taken? It has taken 41 seconds, which is five seconds versus 41 seconds. So obviously there was something going on, uh, which I wanted to figure out. So let's go and jump over to the execution plan. And you see an execution plan, a lot of parallel operators. We're not going to get into that. I'm only going to show you is select the first operator in this execution plan. In this case, it is a select into operator, uh, but it could just be a select query where you would select the select operator, the first one, right click, go into properties. And in properties, apart from a lot of information that you see, you will see something called as wait stats right at the end. And unfortunately, the UI is not very intuitive. I would love to kind of just right click and expand all. 
Why I say that is because when you expand this, you might have like 10, 15, 20, 30 weight types there for your query even more. And just kind of expanding each one of them is very, very tiresome and tedious. So you got to, I mean, there's no expand all or collapse all, but yes, you could do that. And what you can see here is, and I'm not expanding all of them, but what you can see here is the weight type the wait time in milliseconds and the number of times wait count, the number of times this wait type occurred during the execution of this workload, this query, this store procedure. And you can see all of them there. Uh, it would have been great if we had an opportunity to kind of sort it also, like sort on uh, count or uh, something like uh, wait time uh, per se, but that's not there. So this gets a little tedious if you have a lot of weight to look for, uh, weight types to look for and expand all of them, but then it's great. It's great to just kind of have a quick look into what your query was waiting on and go and look into all the different wait times, total wait time and the wait counts to get an idea of why the query was running slow. Hope you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, share this video with your friends and colleagues. Go to sqlmaestros.com. You have a lot of learning resources there and you can become a free member and get access to all the learning resources. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.